Hey Jewel, today I am just going to take this down and I'm going to re-moisturize and do smaller uh, or twist um, on my natural hair. I've been rocking it up into, um, have this, I had this twisted all back, excuse me, and in a bun. It has been, it may have been, it may have been a week, but I don't need to wash my hair right now. I noticed that uh, I be over washing my hair. And so what I'm going to do is just go and re-moisturize and I'm going to mist it with my spray bottle, with my water. So I have my little mirror that I'm using to see my hair. And so I'm not going to really do much to it. I'm not changing the parts or anything. I'm just really going through re-moisturizing, making these big parts up here smaller. I did buy this Aloida hair product. It's called Moisturize and Strengthen Curl Enhancing Buttercream. Um, I liked it because the one that I usually get is, um, well, what I used to get caused a lot of buildup on my hair, which was the Carol's Daughter, um, restorative cream. And so I stopped using that one because it was heavy and it caused a lot of buildup on my hair. Like it produced, a, it was a lot of oil and it was also heavy ingredients that my hair really didn't uh, like. Um, I like the way it makes my hair feel but i'm not too keen on the smell the smell is i can miss the smell i don't like the smell um but the ingredients that it's ha it has is perfect for like three texture type hair when i say that i'm referring to on the tighter end so if you're going to use a good butter and you're looking for something like three type product for your hair for like a thickening cream i'm using this because i, I noticed my hair is still moisturized <clears throat> but i want to just add a little extra mm in my hair because on the act on the outside it feels dry, but on the inside it looks it's it's not dry. So I'm going in and adding this cream, but I don't like the smell, but I like the way it makes my hair feel. And the first product I bought, I mean the first one I bought of this, uh, somebody actually stuck somebody had their hands in it, and it had black stuff in the product. You can see where somebody dug their hands in it, so. Check your products, y'all, before y'all go leave the store because some of my people be digging in the products. So I had to go all the way back. I bought it from Target. I had to go all the way to Target, I mean, all the way back to Target to repurchase this same product. So I wasn't too happy about that. I don't like the smell. The smell stink. It smells like toothpaste. <laughs> It smells like toothpaste. It smells like peppermint toothpaste to me. That's what it smells like to me. But, um, mm -mm. it smells like a floral peppermint toothpaste. And I personally don't like that smell, but I like the way it makes my hair feel. So I'm just kind of going to override that smell. But I'm just going through and just, uh, just applying that cream. This creams in the wintertime just works better for my hair. So I'm just going through and just retwisting it because my hair frizz so fast. That's just how my hair is. I don't care what you add to it. My hair will frizz just to give it some more softness and for it to last a little longer. I only put a little bit on there. I don't need a lot. And I'm not even really going through and detangling my hair because it was detangled prior. Um, also, if you don't need to necessarily detangle your hair, avoid it. That causes so much extra breakage. So you can see, see, but avoid it because it causes so much extra breakage. So I'm just going through with these first, these two first, and then I'm going to do the back. Just working it cream in, using my hand to just make these sections really just smaller. No reason to part because by the end of the week that yeah it's not gonna even be a part because my hair gonna find its way out of this the thing every time. I do not want them small. I just want them a good just breaking them what breaking up what they are. Get the brush. Split it into three because I'm gonna break the root to get it a little tighter. Keeping the hair from coming out of the uh, twist. So now that I finished the twist, they look like this. 
So what I did was the big pieces, I just split those into twos or threes, depending on how big they were. And as I twisted down, I didn't make them big twist, one big twist, but I split them into and made them two twists to make it look full. But I don't have a lot of partings. Um, I don't have a lot of partings um, of my hair. So I just, that was just a little trick I did. But my hair is so frizzy and it's curling up from the cream, but it's like, poofing so anyway i'm going to be wearing this up anyway so i don't really care so what i'm going to do is just pull this hair up into a high ponytail going forward leaving the two pieces that i initially i love the way it makes my hair feel like i love 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 this cream the only thing i don't care for is the smile smile i <laughs> mean the smell but other than that i really love that hair cream Anyway, my hair, that's the best. My hair has responded with any hair cream, a cream that I've used. Okay, so, and the oil, my personal oil that, I, uh, that I've that i created, that's the best my hair has ever responded with the oil. So I think that's pretty cool. So now I have that hair, and I'm keeping those two pieces down. And I'm just going to put this into a ponytail. And I have my little bobby pin. What I'm going to do is just form it into a bun and just pinning it in place so now i have so now i really look to look like tarantula legs so now i have the hair and bun in place and so i'm gonna just i could just pull the pieces that i left down i don't know if i like that I don't know if I really liked it. <laughs> oh, that's cute. That's not bad. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. I can leave them down or I can just wrap them up in the bun. But for now, I'm going to just leave them down. No big. I may just get like these big bobby pins and roll them like this to help it form. Just get the big bobby pins. Bend them all the way down and put the hair in between and that keeps it from going, uh, moving just put some curling cream on my edges put a little curling cream on my edges and i'm gonna secure my rag in place So this is, uh, I'm coming back to show you all the results. So two of them I took off last night. And this was curled, but you know how when you wrap things, they don't go. These were curled, but I mean, once I wrapped them, I mean, once I unwrapped them and slept on them, they just had its way as it does. The humidity and it just pooped. But I'll show you what it would look like if your hair did stay. Look at this curl. Look at that curl. And this got bent, this got bent with my rag, so it's not laying as flat as it was last night. And I'm gonna remove this one as well. And see, see the curl. So this is the finished result of my hair. If you like what you see, comment, like, and subscribe. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.